Hi, and welcome to House Blend on SCV TV. It's the place where local musicians of all persuasions come to play their original material, and you and I get to know them a little better when they join us for some conversation. I'm Stephen K. Peoples, your House Blend host, and thanks for dropping in. Now, coming up a little bit later in the show, Mr. Squeeze and the Medicine Men will deliver a dose of rock and Americana roll, and we'll talk with the band's chief medic, Phil Parlapiano. But first, we'd like to welcome a new Santa Clarita Valley rock band whose members have a long local history. Three of the four guys live in Saugus, David Green, Matt Battaglia, Matt Romero, and Nick Chambra lives in Oxnard. This is their first TV appearance as Moonraker. Welcome to the studio, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys just played your first gig last night, right? Yeah. So how did that go? It was pretty great. Uh, it, it was like a series of awesome moments, like mixed in with bits of awkward moments. <laughs> so it was pretty good. Yeah, it, was like, a, it was a rock candy and music Yeah, it was kind of like the Citizen more. Kane yeah. of first shows. <laughs> Why is that? Just because it's debatably, <laughs> the best. arguably, arguably, some people could tell. It's you never going to get better. I think we're going to quit after that it's one. Done. That was it. People expected a lot and they didn't get it. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, you guys. Actually, are, the first couple songs were good. You're but. doomed from the get go. Huh? Doomed from the get go. All right. Well, David, you had a, a, a group before this that you were with called Fen Truck that was pretty right. popular around the Santa Clarita Valley for several years. And so, kind of tell us uh, what happened there and how. Fen truck kind of uh, went away, and Moonraker came into being. Um, well, First of all, popular is debatable. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, he's popular is debatable. Hey, stab him oh. in the back. <laughs> yeah, he's right though. Um, no, we um, we'd been playing. Um, our bass player was away at school, and Matt was filling in for us. And we'd been playing in bands for like since we were in like seventh grade together. Yeah, the first band we were ever in was was me and him and, and our friend Jason. So yeah. we've known each other for a long time. So yeah. it's like homecoming. Yeah, yeah we'd always play with each yeah. other's band. So he was filling in on bass for us for a while. We were uh, playing in like Phoenix, Arizona, and our singer told us that he was done. And uh, I remember we were sitting yeah, outside. Awkward. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> we were like loading up the van to go to Phoenix, and he's like, oh, by the way. Uh, I quit. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like sitting there outside the venue that night, like, and uh, like we're just talking because like a year ago or something, like he had written some some songs and like the plan was to record them just for fun. And we both got really busy with our bands, and then uh, like outside the venue, he's like, "Dude, let's just jam on some punk songs." And I was like, "Yeah." And then yeah, it uh, became an instrumental group all of a sudden, right? Yeah. Well, it just kind of we just wanted to jam when we got back, and then uh, just kind of started just looking for people to play with and. We knew Nick because he uh, he was playing. We, we yeah. went on tour. They had to pull in the ringer. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> not that many good bass players. Yeah, you so have to really. Import, we we, we uh, held yes. a draft. It was pretty yeah. pretty intense. Pretty we, uh, long uh, yeah. rehearsal and tryout process. It was horrible. Uh, <laughs> no, we went on tour uh, with uh, Nick. Was playing bass in this band last year, and uh, we all knew each other, and so. That's how it so you raided of, him from the band, right? Yeah, yeah. we yeah, stole. Well, that what, band was breaking down, and uh, this band was forming. So perfect time. I weaseled my way out, in man. this this band. And Matt kind of we lost a bet. I weaseled myself in this yeah. band. It was one of those things where I had to blackmail everyone I, I didn't to get even, in. Even though he was in the band <laughs> until last night. <laughs> it just kind of happened. So. It's a show. He's, more like, wait, we have another. He's the other guitar player. Yeah. So so it's not about the music. It's no. Of course not. Of course It's about Nick. And well, hair, speaking hair. of the music, we got uh, a couple of tunes here to do today. What's the first one you're going to perform for us? Um, it's called Big Trouble and Little Sagas. Now, what's the deal with that? Um, it's, you know, song about, uh, just kind of, <laughs> it's kind of it's about, about one of the guys in his it's old It's kind of band. about one of the, yeah, the Fentrek situation. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. We're all from Sagas and the, you know. Seemed like it'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Moonraker live on House Blend with Big Trouble in Little Saugus.
That's Moonraker on SCV TV's House Blend with Big Trouble and Little Saugus. That's from the band's debut EP, Amber Alert. I'm Stephen K. Peoples, your House Blend host. We're back in the studio with the members of Moonraker. We got David Green, Matt Battaglia, Matt Romero, and Nick Chambra. So, you guys have been playing around uh, the SCV for several years in various different bands mm -hmm. and finally got together here. Now, what kind of sound are you going for with Moonraker? Um, it's kind of just like a like a darker, faster kind of version of yeah, stuff. Didn't really want to hold back anything. Yeah. Maybe our other bands are you know going for one kind of sound. We just kind of just go you know punk. It's going to come out how it comes out. Now, because you come from a lot of different bands that work different areas, you're each bringing something different into the into the mix to uh, to mix it up and be a little bit more um, rounded or, or more versatile, as opposed to just focusing on punk or rock or one direction. You kind of yeah. I think so. we all have a lot of uh, the same influences as far as like punk is concerned, though. I mean, we all grew up on kind of the same bands as like Alkaline Trio and Saves the Day and. The Lawrence Arms and things like that. So, when we all got together, it was just kind of like, let's play like the stuff we grew up on. You know, let's do something in that vein and, and see where it goes. And this is sort of how it ended up. So, yeah, well, the blend sounds really good. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Yes. Now, are you guys looking to build a following outside the SCV at yeah. uh, at uh, some yeah, point? Of course. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely. Um, we kind of, you know, Nick lives in Oxnard, so we kind of want to try to play out there some yeah. more. And they're, they're they've got like, the door out. Out there, yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's, it's kind a of, great scene out there. Yeah, it's hard too. It's yeah. good. And eventually get on the road. I've been yeah. touring for the last five years with the band I was in, and yeah. it's uh, definitely something I find a home, you know, being on the road and stuff. And I want to take this and bring this sound and show the country what, uh, you know, Moonraker has. We're so. Matt's baby. He's been exactly. Exactly. Awesome. All of us <laughs> That's the reason I'm in the band. I just figured it out. <laughs> we don't want to embarrass oh, Matt. Matt tour. Let's bring his that international <laughs> fans. <laughs> Now, before we, uh, we, we take off, we have an, another song you're going to perform for us. But before we do that, where can people find out more about Moonraker and get your music and find out where you're going to be playing next? Well, if you type Moonraker into Wikipedia, you will find nothing about us. <laughs> so don't so do don't that. do some weird James Bond yeah, movie there'll be some or James something. Bond stuff. Yeah. And An obscure Marvel superhero yeah, as well. Yeah, sailboat stuff. Yeah. But you do have a Facebook page, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Moonra uh, it's facebook.com slash Moonraker HXC. It, what's the HXC for? Uh, it's, it's, it's actually, uh, that was a joke, but it's short for hardcore. Oh. A lot of hardcore bands will yeah. put that at the end of their name. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so oh. that's what that, okay, oh. great. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the second song today is going to be what? It's called The Very Top. The Very Top. Is that on the EP? It that's, is, yes. Excellent, excellent. And is the EP out and available right now? Uh, yes. It's available at Rock Candy. Um, you can buy it there. Also, at any of our shows or anything like that, we have it for sale. Um, and then I think uh, one of the songs, or both of the songs on our Facebook, are up for download as well. So you can get them there, too. Well, that's great. Let's hear it live on House Blend. Here's Moonraker with The Very Top. the way that it's always 
Moonraker on House Blend with The Very Top. That's from the band's first EP titled Amber Alert. I'm Stephen K. Peoples, your House Blend host, and we'll be back in a minute with Mr. Squeeze and the Medicine Men on SCV TV right after this break. <laughs> 